New at 530, the Jacksonville Public Library is facing some backlash from the community after canceling the local pride prom for teens that it was going to host. The library says it received too many threats, but those who support it say the show will go on. Our Shelby Danielson has more to the story all new tonight. The library says they no longer could guarantee a safe environment for the teens at that event on Friday after concerns of what might take place outside of the library instead of on the inside. Friday night's Pride Prom was scheduled for the Willow Branch location of the Jacksonville Library until this post announced its cancellation Monday morning. It's a prom for crying out loud. There's no reason why why this one shouldn't be taking place either. Nicole so. White is the executive director for Unbroken Horizons, a scholarship foundation for LGBTQ youth. She says they're working to find a new location for that prom. You continue, you persevere, you show resilience. A lot of the threats of protesters were not local. Seth Owen is the founder and president of Unbroken Horizons and a youth ambassador for the human rights campaign. The platform that social media gave, that platform was used to um, threaten the success of an, an event that wouldn't have been feasible for them to protest. It's not likely that they were actually going to be there. Many of the threats were geared toward Beatrice Palmer, a local drag queen known as BB Deluxe, who often reads at the library and who was going to volunteer at the prom. They don't see that I am a person who buys groceries and pays taxes and has a family. Deluxe says the focus should have been on the kids, not him. So this is all in all a total misstep for Tim Rogers for the Jacksonville Public Library for Jacksonville. The library's executive director, Tim Rogers, was not available for comment, but on Tuesday afternoon, the library sent out another message emphasizing the reason for their decision, saying in part, quote, we stand by our decision to create the event just as we stand by our decision to cancel it when we felt the teen's safety could not be guaranteed. Shelby Danielson, First Coast News on your side.